This started with a sketch, a hand-drawn idea in a quiet Oxford lab. No roar of engines, no corporate boardroom. Just an engineering student chasing a better way to spin magnets and copper into motion. Today, that idea lives inside one of the fastest Lamborghinis ever made. And it's not just changing cars, it's changing how we think about propulsion itself. Why are some of the world's most powerful machines shifting away from tradition? What makes this motor so special? And how did a forgotten design go from backroom blueprint to global breakthrough? Let's take a closer look. From PhD curiosity to industry shockwave. In 2005, deep within the engineering halls of the University of Oxford, a PhD student was wrestling with a problem few outside the field cared to understand. His name was Tim Woolmer. His obsession? Electric motors. Specifically, how to make them lighter, more compact, and more efficient than anything the auto industry had seen. It wasn't about chasing horsepower back then. It was about solving a fundamental bottleneck. Traditional motors were heavy and packed with iron that didn't contribute to power. Woolmer believed there was a better way, and he found it. By 2009, he had founded Yasa, short for Yokeless and Segmented Armature, a company built around his unconventional design. While other startups chased batteries or apps, Yasa focused on one thing, torque. Quietly, they built a motor that flipped the entire equation. Car companies noticed, Ferrari used it, Koenigsegg took it further, and now Lamborghini has gone all in. But what's fascinating isn't just who's using it, it's what they're using it for. Because this motor isn't just a new piece of hardware, it's a new way to think about turning electricity into motion. And it began with one simple question, magnetic magic, understanding axial flux. At its core, every electric motor is just a dance between magnets and electricity. One part spins, one part stays still, and in between, a magnetic field pushes everything into motion. But not all motors dance the same. Most electric vehicles today use radial flux motors. In these, the magnetic field flows from the center outward, like spokes on a wheel. It works, it's reliable, but it's not the only way. Tim Woolmer's design focused on axial flux, where the magnetic field moves sideways along the motor's axis. Picture two spinning plates facing each other, with magnetic energy flowing between them like invisible glue. Why does that matter? Leverage. Just like a longer wrench makes it easier to loosen a bolt, magnets farther from the center have more mechanical advantage. Axial motors take advantage of this, offering more torque for the same amount of weight. But there's a catch. As you move components further out, the stresses increase. It becomes harder to spin safely at high speeds. So while torque density improves, power density doesn't always follow. And that's where most axial flux designs stop. But Yasa didn't. Yokeless and segmented, a design with no fat. The name Yasa isn't just clever branding, it's a blueprint. Yokeless and segmented armature. Three words that quietly tear up the rule book. In most motors, the yoke is a heavy iron shell that holds everything together. It guides magnetic fields, adds strength, and gives the motor its bulk. But it also adds weight, a lot of it. So Woolmer made a bold move. He removed it. Instead of relying on a solid iron body, the Yasa motor uses a much lighter structure with custom bindings and advanced materials holding it all in place. And it works without disrupting the magnetic flow. The segmented armature part? That's about the copper windings, the coils that carry electricity. Rather than forming one solid block, Yasa breaks them into individual pieces. This opens up gaps for air and coolant to flow through, dramatically improving thermal management. The result is a motor with less iron, better cooling, and more efficient use of every magnetic field. Most engineers wouldn't even try this. Too risky, too fragile. But Woolmer proved it could be done, and once the weight started falling off, everything else began to change too. Engineering elegance. Every coil counts. Electric motors are judged by what they do with the energy we give them, and most motors waste more than they should. 
especially in the coils. In a typical radial motor, the copper windings stretch beyond the magnetic field. These end windings don't contribute to power. They just sit there, heating up and dragging efficiency down. It's a quiet flaw, baked into nearly every electric drivetrain. Yasa's design flips that. With its axial layout, the magnetic field presses directly across the face of the copper windings. And because of the segmented structure, nearly every inch of copper sits inside the magnetic sweet spot. No dead zones, no wasted motion. Even better, the segmented design lets coolant slip between the coils. That means higher sustained power, better thermal regulation, and motors that don't gasp when pushed. It's not just about torque anymore. It's about control, about packaging energy more tightly, using every gram and wire to do something useful. That elegance turning structure into function is what makes the Yasa motor more than just a clever shape. It's what makes it a breakthrough. The Tamario's triple threat. Lamborghini didn't just buy a motor. They reimagined an entire powertrain around it. Their new Tamario supercar doesn't have one electric motor. It has three, all based on Yasa's axial flux design, each placed with surgical precision. Two are mounted at the front axle, enabling something called torque vectoring. That means each front wheel can receive a custom dose of torque in real time, letting the car carve through corners with balance and precision no human driver could match alone. But the real marvel is the third motor. It's embedded inside the V8 engine housing, not beside it, not bolted on. It's built directly into the space between the combustion engine and the dual-clutch transmission. No clutch, no delay, just seamless energy. At low speeds, it fills in the gaps where turbos might lag. At high speeds, it keeps the system in perfect sync. This motor doesn't just boost performance, it transforms how power feels. Instant, smooth, and alive. And because it's also a starter motor and a generator, it simplifies the whole system. Three motors, one design philosophy. Integrated not for complexity, but for clarity. Spec sheet that breaks the rules. Each Yasa motor in the Tamario weighs just 17.3 kilogulers and is 70 millimeter thick. That's compact. But don't let the size fool you. Each one produces 110 kilowatt or about 148 horsepower. Three of them combined? Over 440 horsepower coming from motors smaller than most backpacks. Power density is off the charts. Torque density? Even higher. And all of it runs on a 3.8 kilowatt hour battery, far smaller than what you'd find in most EVs. That means the efficiency is not just on paper. It's real, usable, and repeatable. Compare that to traditional radial motors. Even the best ones, like Lucid's, can compete on power, but not torque, and certainly not on packaging. Yasa didn't just build a better motor. They built one that challenges what a performance car can be. These aren't numbers meant to impress on spreadsheets. They translate directly into speed, control, and feel, and that's what makes them dangerous in the best way. More than a car, a template for the future. Yasa's motor didn't stop at Lamborghini. Because once you show that axial flux can be produced reliably, affordably, and at scale, you unlock entirely new markets. Electric planes, motorcycles, agricultural equipment, robots, even spacecraft. All of them need compact, torque-heavy motors. All of them need better cooling. And all of them benefit from what Yasa has built. Volume production has always been the hurdle. Axial flux motors were seen as exotic, delicate, and too complex to mass produce. But Yasa just proved otherwise. And with that proof, they've created a new template, one where power doesn't mean bulk and torque doesn't mean trade-offs. If the auto industry follows, we could see an entire shift in how electric vehicles are designed. Smaller batteries. Simpler transmissions, more space. It's not about building for luxury. It's about building smarter machines. And when technology like this enters the mainstream, it doesn't just improve performance, it redefines what we expect from the machines around us, where ideas become power. 
No single component makes Yasa's motor great. It's the combination, the yokeless core, the segmented coils, the magnetic alignment, the cooling channels, all functioning as one. That's rare in engineering. Usually, innovation means trade-offs. Here, it means balance. What started in a lab now powers one of the world's most advanced cars. But that's not where it ends. Lamborghini is only the first. More companies are taking notice. More designs are being adapted. And now, Yasa is scaling up. They're refining their process, expanding production, making these motors easier to build, not just in prototypes, but in plants. This isn't just about cars anymore. It's about redefining what electric motion looks like across industries. That quiet idea from 2005 is no longer an experiment. It's a product, a platform, a signal. Sometimes the future doesn't arrive with a roar. It slips in quietly, efficiently, wrapped in copper and steel. This started with a question, not from a CEO or a think tank, but from a young engineer sketching in the quiet corners of Oxford. What if motors didn't need to be so heavy? What if magnetic fields could flow differently? What if every part of a machine pulled its weight? Today, that idea drives one of the most advanced Lamborghinis ever made. But tomorrow, it could drive much more. Because the future of movement doesn't always arrive with noise. Sometimes it begins with silence, a pencil, and the refusal to accept the way things have always been.